So the U.S. and Europe have the same issue with dependence on petroleum. And so both the U.S. and Europe are looking very hard at the use of electric vehicles or plug-in hybrids to move our transportation energy from oil to electricity, which opens up a broader uh, base of energy sources, wind, solar, other types of fuels, uh, biofuels, for example. So in this case, what we're doing is focusing right now on how do both the U.S. and Europe work together on things like standards, where we can minimize the differences uh, because our companies ship products both directions. And so we would like to make sure that we understand uh, the, the limitations that are imposed by different standards. The steps we're taking to get those vehicles on the road is we have invested money. When I say we in this case, this is the U.S. government through the Department of Energy has invested in battery manufacturing, component manufacturing, uh, battery recycling, and a, and a fairly uh, substantial amount of vehicle demonstration and deployment. And that's where we're cooperating with Europe at the moment. Here in Brussels, the Commission has kicked off a new program called the Green Emotion Program, which is a vehicle demonstration program that ties together a number of your member states. And we're launching, at the same time, a U.S.-wide demonstration program that will deploy over uh, 13,000 vehicles and 23,000 chargers. And so we t intend to share information between those two programs with the idea being that we can better understand the way customers use their cars, when they charge, how the vehicles are charged. In the future, you, cars and utilities or the electric power grid are going to communicate much more in order to, you, to effectively manage the energy that's used to charge them. And so what we're trying to do is come up with a way that allows cars, whether they're in the U.S. or Europe or Asia, to communicate with their utility. And so this is something that has not been done before. So we're trying to develop technology that allows frequency changes depending on the country you're in and so forth, but all automatic, where, where the customer doesn't have to know anything about it. This is just something between the uh, car and its uh, source of energy. I see in the last uh, six months a, a new level of cooperation between the U.S. and Europe on these basic things that have to be addressed, uh, that the industry can't do alone, that we think we have common roles as governments to do these supporting types of activities, whether it's standards, testing, uh, other types of development. So we see a new level of, of interaction that we're very happy with.